Well, I don't. I didn't really know where to start, to be honest with you, because I guess well, I am putting it in Ramble Road or whatever. First, th yeah, I'm uh, time management man. My time management skills suck. That's why I I think I've mentioned before I wanted to get back into uh, university mode when um, I had to you know stick to a timetable and um, oh, otherwise bad things would happen, and it worked out wonderfully. And so I'm trying to get back into that. I just well, okay, hold on here. This is what I should have started with. That's why. I've got three days. I still have to do another bloody... I should do a proper playthrough again of uh, Tannenberg for crying out loud, man. Hold on. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I wanted to um, start, you know, working on the turn track and reinforcement holding... Okay, this thing's going to dry me up the flipping tree. It worked fine with the normal uh, the thin sheet. So I'm going to have to figure out what the hell. Because I, I don't like that border there. I would have loved to have tried to maybe uh, miniature. I just, uh, like I said, time management. I got other things to deal with. But I do, it looks like I've made the giant sized counters big enough for if I wanted to put both sides. Well, here, I guess I should put a German one there kind of thing. So hopefully that'll help. I just, but then it's like, well, the turn tr counter, where the hell do I put that? That kind of sucks. Um, so I'll figure out, yeah, I'm not going to get just maybe a counter on top or, you know what I mean? That, that type of thing or something like that. But, uh, I know it's welcome to can games. This is certainly not something I would do, um, um, you know, publish or something. My God, not next year or whatever, or when I do something like that. No, 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 no. But like I said, that's just, uh, ah, just irritating. Uh, and I'm hoping that when I go to can games this weekend, oh my F, um, I'll I'll scope out. I'm actually going to go upstairs and take a look at one of the old um, uh, I don't even know what the hell you call them, um, just the schedule book or whatever. Um, and I'll go take a look at that and see what the table. I think I've got Y one or Y two. Well, it's Y one two three or four. <laughs> it's one of them. Anyways, I'll take I'll go upstairs and take a look and uh, I'll see what the you know what it looks like and see if. Um, I, there's no way in hell. What the hell am I thinking? Okay, I, I'm like, wait a minute here. It just dawned on me. I'm like, I said four players, which means obviously two two-player games. I've got two of these maps. Okay, I, I could, you know, probably pull off uh, four players on a normal size table, which would probably be, be roughly something like this. And I'm expecting, yeah, we're going to have to move. I'm just going to hope to God. But I did look, take a look at the schedule and it was like, holy smokes, man, there are a lot of people signed up, which is a wonderful thing, obviously. Jeepers jumping. But okay, so this is it. And I'm going to pause again. Now, remember, this is not the scale, but it's, you know, 75%. But it more or less shows you all the maps for Dervelt Creek. And Getting ready for the stri strat strategic whatnots and everything. Thank God there's the strategic map because uh, it's still not going to really help. And well, it'd be abstracted. I would obviously have to do. But one little glaring, come well, on, not glaring error. Okay, look, and I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I, I could do like, I don't know how many flipping videos on how much I flip and love this system and whatnot for what it can, for me anyways, it's just that giant sandbox is like, hello, you can do this thing. As well as, pardon me, it's like, what in the hell was he thinking? Because it's so wonderfully amazing. He did it in in a bazillion. Like, it's just, it's awesome. Like, come on. Um, yeah, uh, I can pick it apart because I love it to death. Um, what else can I say? Uh, yes, the, here we go. Uh, anyways, I was strategizing about what the hell I'm going to do with the central powers. I'm going back. It just seems like at this point in my in the in it, in it I'm finding the central powers perspective uh, quite compelling. Uh, I'm not saying I'm pro central powers or whatever. It's just I'm finding them really interesting, uh, especially with the Ottomans, how they got into the war, and I, I didn't realize at one point they balked at uh, they continued. I guess the Germans are kind of like, uh, "Hello, are you going to like?" Um, declare war and supposedly from what i've been reading and listening to is like they didn't right away or as quickly as the germans wanted to and i think the germans at one point were saying they're going to get obviously at the end of october uh by the way if you don't um declare like a lot of our support and you can kiss yeah basically you're on your own own and i think the ottomans were like from what i've been like i said from what i've been reading and listening to um they're like oh oh like we better do 
you know, they hedged their bets, I guess is uh, the way to look at it. And it was like either a loan or, yeah, it wasn't from what I could see. The, uh, the Entente weren't being, you know, I mean, they could, you know, the writing was on the wall, man. Uh, they were, you know, everybody was picking them apart. But so I was like, you know what, let's, and from a, on a side note too, I was looking at the naval component, like the beginning bits of uh, uh, what British strategy was for the uh, the Navy, like where they were situated, what they were worried about, so on and so forth. And yeah, I can tell you from a, an, uh, such a power's point of view, if you don't think I want to nail the Suez Canal and and uh, go off to Persia and try to get, oh, it's just, oh my gosh, there's just so much cool stuff to think about. Anyway, so I was also... Uh, Knowing that uh, originally uh, the uh, England and whatnot, oh wait, what the hell am I doing? Uh, you know, were not worried about Germany at the you know way before World War One and whatnot, and then uh, you know their navy kicked in and so on and so forth, and they started refocusing their their whatevers. But they do, were were worried that there was going to be an invasion. And I'm like, well, why couldn't I take a look at it? And I'm like, well, you can't because there's no map for it. That type of stuff. Um, boy, that would have been interesting. So I'm just saying, I'm not saying, like I said, it's a glaring error. But that's one thing that I find interesting. Okay, hold on here. I'll see if I got nothing left to say. Or whatever. Yeah, maybe I should go back to this for a, a bit. Because I, I need to kind of get it into my head. Like, it's like, Chris, man, you need to... It's just, I have to remind myself. I've been on both ends. Uh, in the sense of uh, uh, running a game. I've run a game horribly when I was a kid. Uh, I mean, bad. And it still lingers with me in the sense that I let some people down. They spent some money. Uh, they were expecting to spend four hours uh, playing, you know, enjoying themselves and so on and so forth. And I let them down massively. And that happened over 40 years ago. And I still think about it. Um, and I've been on the flip, uh, the other side where I've, you know, People have gone, wow, you, thank you so much for hosting this and so on and so forth. I had a great time. So I want to I want to make sure that as well as, you know, this is, a, as you know, or maybe you don't know, there's not a hell of a lot of Hex Encounter going on anymore um, at Can Games, especially um, uh, this style. So I'd like to, you know, kind of, you know, hello, r remind, uh, yeah, get back into it a little bit. So that's really about it. Um, Oh, but then I'll tell you one thing. This game, man, is just a, oh, you know what? I yeah, I can't wait to have a some kind of just a, another side ramble of just how much um, this game. I don't know what it uh, for me. I don't. That, yeah, this is set, definitely this system uh, for sure is a classic, or it's going to be a classic, or whatever the hell you want to call uh, that type of stuff. But oh, also I. Do start. I think I'm starting to kind of clue in about what they mean by like a lifestyle game. I was like, oh, it just means you spend a lot of time playing that game. No, no, no. As far at least the way I'm starting to see it, not even close. It is. Um, I don't even know to. It's limitless. That's it. It, it really is. It's. Uh, it's just as you know. Just keep going, 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 and whatever. It's just. Uh, <sighs> I mean, come on, man. All right, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it, really.